the formidable robot. Everyone told me college would bring some of the best years of my life. One way or another, they were wrong. I want to get straight to the point with this story, so I won't dwell on my past too long. I went to art school, Kansas City Art Institute, in 2012. I lived with two roommates. One was always out partying, and the other was far too distant to converse with. It was pretty early in the morning, and it was one of my few days off, so naturally I was watching TV. I decided to put on some news channel until something better came on, hoping Futurama or one of the animated shows I enjoyed would be playing soon. My distant roommate was god knows where, and my party animal roommate was just about to leave to go get groceries. I told her to get me some monsters, and went back to watching the television as she left. On the screen, two reporters were talking about something I wasn't really paying attention to before switching over to the weatherman. The weatherman described the harsh weather that would be attacking Kansas City in the near future. From what I remember, crazy amounts of snow were expected, but they never came. I remember the three of us being excited for the upcoming snow days, and disappointed when they never happened. The weatherman went on and on about the snow, cracking a joke about people not being able to get to work, before intending to switch back to the two reporters from before. There was a point between this transition where all the reporters were on screen, I suppose so they could talk with each other. The weatherman's screen was on the right, and the news reporter's screen was on the left but the news reporters weren't there. Instead there was a still image of a middle-aged man. He had thin slicked back hair and was wearing a black sweater. The man was smiling, had his head tilted down and was staring into the camera. Once I had noticed it, it really freaked me out. The weatherman laughed as if he was talking to the other news reporters and made a remark back at them. I figured he wasn't aware of this creepy guy that was staring into my soul, and the news channel had been somehow hijacked. The still image remained on the screen for several seconds before a loud voice blasted its way through the speakers of the television. It sounded like it was coming through a radio used in the Vietnam War or something. It sounded horrible. The voice was male, and desperately called out a woman's name. Valencia. Not long after, a female voice replied. Alfred? Is that you? The female voice called out. The voices sounded like they were shouting at each other from far away. The screen cut to footage that looked like it was taken from a pretty shitty camcorder. The camera panned across a dark filthy looking garage, before the person recording rotated the camera so his face could be seen. It appeared to be the creepy guy from the still image before. The tag from the news channel still displayed over top of the footage. I did it Valencia. I did it for you. The creepy man yelled into the camera. He grabbed the camera and pointed it towards a figure in the corner of the garage. At this point I was totally confused as to what the hell I was watching, but intrigued enough to continue. The man turned on a flashlight and pointed it towards the figure. It appeared to be the taxidermized body of a young woman, standing in a still position with lifeless glass eyes. Now we can be together forever. The man said. The camera footage became shaky. Oh Alfred, I'm so glad you've done this. The disembodied female voice replied. This is all I've ever wanted. At this point I let out an audible, what the fuck? What the hell was I watching? This must have been some kind of sick joke, right? The video abruptly cut back to the news station, and the news reporters went on with their conversation as if nothing ever happened. The hijack ended as quickly as it had started. It wasn't long after this that my roommate came back with her groceries. Right away, I told her about what I'd seen, and she just laughed at me like I was joking. Later that day, I did some research on my computer on the hijacking. Nothing came up. As unlikely as it seems, I must have been the only one watching the channel at the time, unless something bigger was going on. I also searched for murders involving people named Valencia and Alfred, specifically involving taxidermy, and found nothing. I was stumped, and at the time blamed it on sleep deprivation, but that experience has haunted my dreams since it happened. Continuing my research today, I still haven't been able to find anything on the hijacking. 
Thinking back on the camcorder footage that was shown, the loud distorted voices almost sounded like they were shouting at each other from the afterlife. As if the man was shouting from hell into heaven, where the woman shouted back at him. Everything shown during the hijacking seemed like the work of a deranged serial killer, or even if it was staged, a deranged psychopath nonetheless. I hope this was just some fucked up people pulling an extremely disturbing prank, but to this day, I can't be sure. If anybody else saw this broadcast, please let me know. I can't be the only one.